Hey guys, what's up? It's been a long time since I've posted anything on this channel, but I went to Ohio Linux Fest this weekend and I thought I would talk to you a little bit about that, about what went on, what I did, the things that I came home with, all sorts of things like that. You're probably curious about my face. Um, if you want to know more about that, check my second channel out, this uh, youtube.com slash twill talks. Uh, made a video just about a week ago, actually, talking about the vacation that I went on, the, the work trip I went on before that, how and why I ended up shaving, um, and actually the cuts in particular. I, I started shaving with a straight razor today, and let's just say that I'm not practiced in that. So I'm, I'm still learning, and when someone walks into the room and scares you while you're doing it, not the best solution. That's where, yeah. Anyway, so Ohio Linux Fest. I completely forgot about the uh, the time frame of it. So someone emailed me the other day and said, hey, are you going to OLF this year? Uh, yeah, I'm planning on it. Why? Well, it's this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so see you there. <laughs> yeah, I hadn't made any plans about a room or about a ride up there or anything. So I talked to my friend who I found out was going to be presenting Turns out uh, the school system he works for had provided him with rooms for himself and his students and a bunch of other people, I, I think chaperones and stuff that were going along. So they had some room available, so myself and a couple of other guys in my Linux user group decided to head up. We went up Friday night, we stayed the night, and of course Saturday was the main day of the event. And uh, went to a few presentations, went to all the swag booths and everything, got to meet a lot of the vendors, and just had a lot of good conversations actually ended up meeting a couple of viewers as well. One of the guys that stopped me as I was going back to my room middle of the day or so, his name was Matt, and he said his handle is Neo Dragon, and he is on a podcast called Linux Basics. So if you have heard of that, definitely let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't heard of it, you might want to take a look at it. I haven't had a chance to look it up yet, but I will be looking it up probably while I'm editing this video. Other than that, my old friend Sushi Dude from New York came down again with his family, and they uh, came to some of the talks, and I got a chance to talk to them for a little while. Of course, the one thing I've forgotten to mention here is I had my camera, the T2i, with me. I took a total of five photos, and four of them turned out halfway okay. Uh, yeah, I was kind of out of it just from the long drive and from yeah, just being there. I didn't use the flash or anything, so most of the pictures turned out kind of blurry. I didn't want to disrupt when I was in the middle of a presentation. I didn't want to, you know, disrupt the, the speaker or anything. So uh, those photos are available on Google+. Uh, they're actually all of the uh, the guy who who let me stay in his room and the kids that were with him and the presentation he was giving talking about having free and open source software in the classroom. Definitely an excellent presentation. Wish that I would have had a chance to take the uh, the flip camera with me so I could have filmed it, but you, you think of those things last minute or after the last minute in this case, and that's exactly what happened to me. Now, in terms of the presentations that I went to, I went to actually three presentations in total, which is kind of sad, but it's more than I normally do go to. Uh, I went to Klaatu's video editing presentation, but I, I honestly thought it was going to be about video editing. It turned out to be about video editors, focusing primarily on Final Cut Pro X and what a failure most people have deemed it to be, and focusing on NovaCut, a product that you probably remember I've talked about at length, uh, and basically just making the comparison, contrasting, and, and how, or saying how it is the future of video editing for professional editors on Linux, or professional editors in general, I guess. Uh, I, I will say it, I did notice a, quite a bit of Apple bashing in that, and in general, and yeah, I, I guess that's to be expected at a Linux conference, so yeah. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of, of really bashing anybody at this point, but you know, it, it comes, it goes. Anyway, so that presentation was very informative for the people who didn't know anything about NovaCut. Now they've heard of it, and hopefully they will start to look into it. I don't believe there's actually a public version of NovaCut available yet, so hopefully sometime soon. But that meant during the presentation there weren't any screenshots to show, there weren't any interfaces for people to try out or anything. So it was mainly just one person telling the crowd about what is coming and what it's going to do, and that's awesome. I, to be honest, I would like to have been able to see the actual interface, but like I said, there's not one available yet. The other presentation I went to, other than the, the FOSS in schools presentation in the afternoon, I went to advanced video editing, which was basically a guy, and I don't mean to offend anything here, but it was a guy who I guess is a Hollywood video editor or 
of that caliber. So he was talking about what Hollywood uses for editing and sort of bashing on how free and open source software model will not work for Hollywood because the designers come in to the free and open source software world, uh, present their ideas, you know, basically say this is how it should be, this is how it has to be for Hollywood, and a lot of times get shot down by the free and open source developers. And in, in his words, they get driven out of the community because of it. Uh, I, I have seen things like that in the past, and I've seen just the opposite where people do come in and try to take over projects. So I don't know. Uh, not my place to say one way or another. I, I stayed for most of that presentation, and then my friends ended up calling me and had to go out for lunch. But I did learn a lot about professional video editing and what is lacking in terms of uh, editors on Linux for the professional side. For the most part, honestly, it seems like the professional side, uh, what's, what is lacking is actually being able to take the stuff from one program to another. And like you can't really take a Caden Live program uh, XML file and take it to another application easily. Uh, the same sort of thing with Audacity. You can't easily take an Audacity project and bring it into Caden Live. Uh, you can't take open shot videos and take them to, uh, to Caden Live with all of the edits and everything being saved. That's the kind of thing he was going, uh, going on about. And the biggest thing he says they're missing are time coding. Uh, I am very, very amateur here, so I don't know anything about that. I know Caden Live does not do it. And as he said, nothing on Linux does at this point. Anyway, a bit off topic there, just wanted to sort of go into the presentations I went to. Like I said, I did learn quite a bit at the advanced video editing one. Uh, I'm sure a lot of the audience learned a lot at Klaatu's presentation earlier about NovaCut. Uh, of course, learned, I actually learned quite a bit in the uh, FOSS in the educational environment presentation as well. So uh, the three that I went to, I do have to say, were beneficial. I wish that I had been able to go to more, but I was spending a lot of time at the vendor booths and spending a lot of time talking to, to whoever I could get a chance to talk to. Uh, ended up from the vendor booths coming away with a stack of CDs, DVDs, you know, PCBSD there. I, you seem to always come away from a Linux conference with a BSD disc. I'm not complaining or anything, it's just a little odd. Uh, Fedora, as always, SUSE, actually this is SUSE Linux Enterprise Edition, which is very nice and free NAS, which was again from the uh, FreeBSD people, uh, came away with a Linux magazine or a Lin Linux Pro magazine. Um, I'm sure I'll have a chance to read this at some point, talking about UDEV and uh, controlling Linux media players with Android devices, GNOME 3, all sorts of things like that. And of course, what everyone always wants to know about, t-shirts. <laughs> Surprisingly, at most Linux conventions I've been to in the last couple of years, the t-shirt count has just dwindled, really, really dropped off. Uh, but as always, SUSE, Novell, they did come with their t-shirts and they, they had quite a few and gave them out. That's the front and the back, which you probably can't see terribly well. I've got a very shallow depth of field, so it makes it difficult to display things in focus. Here we have the Pogo Linux shirt, which I didn't even notice until the very end of the day. Uh, Pogo Linux, I'm not familiar with, but uh, I talked to them at length last year. Very nice people. Um, let's see, we've got a Red Hat shirt. There we go. Black red hat shirt says, I don't have a clue about that. We looked up the the B A A D A A S just to see if it was a uh, an acronym for something. It doesn't appear to be. I think it's just red hat being amusing. And then of course there is the cloud.com or now cloudstack open source cloud computing uh, shirt. Very interesting. Rock paper scissors cloud. Uh, we were making little jokes back and forth about the Big Bang Theory, rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. Um, but, you know. So, uh, in terms of swag, it was not bad. Uh, there were a couple of HP touchpads being given away, which was definitely a, a huge thumbs up to see those. Especially since Android should be running on them sometime in the near future. Other than that, uh, it was just overall a fun time, you know, a good time to hang out with other people, other like-minded people, talking about Linux, talking about free and open source software, and a three and a half or four hour car drive, I guess it was three and a half, uh, each direction gave us plenty of time to go on and on about that as well, talking about jobs, talking about what software we use and what we like and what we dislike. and. So it was overall a very interesting event. If you do have any conferences in your area, I definitely recommend taking the time and actually going to one. I've been to, I guess, three in the last year. Uh, OLF just now, uh, Southeast Linux Fest a couple of months ago, and Indiana Linux Fest a few months before that. 
So uh, I, I do tend to make the drives to get to them. It would be nice to have one in Kentucky someday, but we'll see what happens. We've talked about doing one, my, my lug specifically. Uh, if there is any interest in something like that, hopefully we can get one set up in the next few years, but it is a significant financial investment that I, I don't have the money to do. But I think that is all for today. Uh, I, like I said on my second channel, I'm working on getting the news videos back up and going. I know a lot of you guys are concerned about that, that it's been so long. Uh, like I explained on my second channel, I went out of town for two weeks and then I've been completely up in the air in terms of my sleep schedule. So getting back on track with everything and getting back on track with my day job, it's been uh, very stressful, very hectic. And as I've mentioned before on my second channel, the only time I have during the day to make videos is from about 10 p.m. until about midnight. It's just after 10 p.m. right now and I'm just about to finish this video up. So um, yeah, I, I'm gonna do my best to get videos out as often as I can, as often as I feel up to it because my I've actually had migraines quite a bit lately. And this is stuff for my second channel, so um, I don't mean to, to bother you with that, but I hope you all are having a wonderful couple of weeks since I've been gone. Uh, do look forward to making more videos in the future, and I hope to see you again next time. As always, thank you so much for watching, and bye.